morning, welcome everyone. Um, just come into a comfortable seated position. Maybe you sit onto a block when your knees are higher than your hips. It's always nice to lift yourself up a little bit. And then see if you can start into a comfortable cross-legged position. Maybe a half lotus, a full lotus if you like. Make sure that during your whole practice you actually choose your own options. You can always add something you like, maybe you just skip some poses. Make sure you really make your practice your own. So just close your eyes, see if you can sit up with a straight spine. Just dive within, Just slowly starting to connect with your body, with your breath. Whatever sensations you experience, just feel it and then let go. Don't analyze anything of what you're feeling. Just let it be as it is. Relax your face, your shoulders, your neck is long, you can always lift the back of your skull up a little bit, bring your chin slightly inwards. Maybe you can start to deepen your breath. Just can feel that you grow a little bit on every inhalation, finding some more space, some more length into your body. When you exhale, you just soften everything. And try to slightly contract the back of your throat. Drag the air in even slower. Press it back out. Creating a nice soft sound with your breath. Stay here for a few more even exhalations. And try to hold on to this deep breath during your whole practice. You can always come back to your breath when you get distracted. When your class is getting harder, Keep the focus by breathing deeply. Keep the calm into your body. Take one more breath here. If you like to, you can start to cross your legs the other way around. And then start with making some circles with your head. Do it slowly, feeling what's happening up there. Maybe you feel some stiffness, some tension to the muscles into your neck or your shoulders. If you want to, 
down to you. Just reverse the circle. Start to make your way back to the center. When you're all the way into the middle, bring your hands next to you onto the floor. Press your fingertips away from you for a moment. Extend your arms, shoulders away from your ears. Long spine. And then from here, extend your arms all the way up. Slowly twisting to the left side, bringing your right hand over your left knee. Easy twist. Maybe you look over your left shoulder to the back. Keep both sitting bones down. And then from here you can turn your left arm all the way to your right leg. Maybe you round your spine completely. Chin to your chest. Press your back all the way to the back from here. And come back up. Extending your arms back up. Keep the length and twist to the right side. Just keep rising through the crown of your head. Putting your sitting bones down. And then from here you can twist your right arm to the left side. Slowly hanging to the back. From here, gently come all the way back up. Maybe you lengthen your arms up to the sky one more time. And then from there, bring them all the way in front of you. If you're sitting onto a block, remove it from under your sitting bones. And then slide your hands all the way forward. Maybe you take a deep inhale, just extending your spine, your side body. And then relax down. If you want to take a moment to set an intention for your practice, for your day, for anything in your life that needs some attention, some awareness. Start to lift your heart back up, slowly walk your hands all the way forward, rolling over your knees. Come onto your hands and knees. Now when you're all the way onto your hands and knees, just do some cat cows. Really feel that you can round and arch your back. Just slowly starting to open everything up. back to the center. And from here see if you can bring your left foot next to your hip onto the floor, next to your knee. Make sure you press the outside of your foot into the mat. And then bring your left hand underneath your chest, extend your right arm all the way up. Maybe you look up to your right thumb. And slowly stick your right arm underneath your left. Bring your hand, left hand in front of your face. Right shoulder, your right cheek onto the floor. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you want to bring your left arm all the way up and over. If possible, you can grab your thigh. Try to keep spinning that shoulder open. Still breathing deeply. 
Sticking your sitting bones to the back. Just taking one more breath. And then you can bring your arm back in front of your face if you brought it behind you. Slowly rising back up. Hand on the, hands back under your shoulder. And then see if you can sw uh, swing that left leg all the way to the right side. Push your heel away from you. And then you look over your right shoulder to your left heel. Just one more breath. And come back to the center. If you'd like to, you just round and arch your back. And then slowly come back to the center, bringing your right leg to the side. And then from here, you can bring your right hand underneath your chest. Extend your left arm all the way up. See if you can really feel that you open up your shoulder, your chest. And then you can stick your left arm underneath your right. Make sure that you're not going too far to the back. Keep some space in between your leg and your shoulder. And then from here, if you like to, you bring your right arm up and over. One more in and exhale here. Gently starting to bring your right arm all the way back and press yourself back up. Hands under your shoulders, bring that right leg all the way to the left side. Push your heel away. You can look over your shoulder to your heel. Try not to hang into your shoulders. Keep everything long. back with your knee to the floor maybe you round and arch your back just one more time and tuck your toes under sitting bones to your heels and rise slowly slowly up into your downward facing dog then you can walk your dog here bending your knees one by one Always do some variations here. Just feel what your body needs at this moment. And then in your own time, you find stillness into down dog. Just see if you can spread your fingers as wide as possible. Feel that you keep pressing your sitting bones back and up. Keep your knees bent if you need to. Make sure you're not going forward and overstretch your legs. Press everything to the back and up. Keep your navel hugging in. Keep your ribs together. Taking one more breath here. Really slowly, small steps, start to walk forward. When you're all the way forward, maybe you like to widen your feet, catch your elbows. Maybe you want to wrap your arms around your legs, coming into a nice forward bend. Make sure that you keep your knees soft here as well, fold from your hips. Your neck is relaxed. You can always shake your head from side to side, to the front and to the back. And then just take one more breath here. Really 
gently start to roll up vertebra by vertebra. To a standing position, start at the top of your mat. Big toes together, heels slightly apart, hands in front of your heart center, elbows to the side, lift your chest bone up, navel in, and then take a deep inhale, rise all the way up. On your exhalation, slowly bow forward from your hips, hands next to your feet. Half lift on your inhalation, flat spine. Exhale, step your feet into high plank. Just hold that plank for a moment. You like to shift your weight a little bit to the front and to the back. Feel the strength into your shoulders. Make sure you're not hanging into your shoulders. Press your hands away. Press your heels to the back. Feel all the muscles around your core. One more breath here. And gently bring your knees down, come all the way down onto your belly, elbows to the back, close to your ribs, lift your heart up into an easy baby cobra, feel yourself off the floor, and lower back down, deep inhale, lift back up, and slowly flow back, Two more, just feel the softness into your spine, give it the space to open up. Last time, lifting, and lower. Now tuck your toes under, press your sitting bones all the way to the back, and come back up into down dog. Taking a few breaths here. Really feel that you keep pressing your hands away, lengthening through your arms, through your side body. One more in an exhalation. And look in between your hands, soften your knees, and step your feet all the way to the front. Half lift on your inhalation, and exhale, bend all the way down. Deep inhale, rise back up. And exhale, hands back in front of your heart. Keep inhale, lengthen back up. And exhale, slowly bow forward. Half lift on your inhale. And exhale, step back. Now bring your weight a little bit forward, knees onto the floor. Keep your toes tucked under. Make sure you're not going to hang into your back or into your shoulders. And just bring your weight forward and press back up slowly going down and press up maybe you like to come into plank going down and press up last time go down and back up and then bring your knees down come all the way down onto your belly slowly lift your heart up maybe you lift yourself a little bit higher don't force anything and from here you come back, tuck your toes under, and come back into downward dog. A few deep in and exhalations. Stay aware of your fingers. Every knuckle is pressing down into the floor, the four corners of your hands. One more breath. Look in between your hands. Slowly step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift on your inhale and exhale, bow down. Deep inhalation, rise all the way up and hands back in front of your heart. Last time, lift up and slowly fold. Half lift and step your feet into high plank. Wave a little bit forward, see if you can slowly come into Chaturanga. Maybe you hold it there for a moment. And then roll over your toes, cobra or dog. And make your way back into downward facing dog. Bring your back 
body in downward dog. Take a few in and exhalations. See if you can keep your mind empty. Your breath deep. One more in and exhale here. And then bring your right leg all the way up. If you can, press it away. Keep your hips parallel. Feel that you can hug your inner thighs together a little bit. Pull everything to the center line of your body. Taking one more inhalation. And on your exhale, drag your knee all the way to your nose, higher to your left toes. Slowly extending your leg back up. And pull your knee to your chest. Step forward. And from here, you press your left heel away. Rising all the way up, coming into a lunge. Shoulders down, arms long. Deep inhale here, and on your exhale, bring your left knee just above the floor. And slowly extend both legs, come high onto your left toes. Left knee comes just above the floor. And lengthen back up. Last time, left knee just above the mat. And squeeze your inner thighs together. And then slowly bring your left knee all the way down. Left foot comes on the floor. Bring your weight all the way to the back. And shift your hips forward. Slowly going back. And to the front. Last time coming back. And forward. And then from here, you come back onto your left knee. Bring your right arm down. Just shift your weight to the right side. Hips are on top of your left knee. And then extend through that left side. Maybe you like to look underneath your arm up to the sky. Just feel that you lift the left side of your rib cage away from your hip. Maybe you find some more space in between your ribs. And gently rise all the way back up. Hands come in front of your heart. Turn all the way to the right side. Bring your left elbow over your right knee. And then press your right hand into your left. Right elbow is pointing up to the sky. Only if you like to, you tuck your left toes under. You extend that left leg out for a moment. And gently come back to the center. Lift your left knee off the floor if it's still onto the mat. Left hand stays down. Twist your right arm up. If you like to, you make a few circles. I always like to do that. Open up my shoulder. And then you bring your hand all the way down. Stepping back into high plank. Gently going through your vinyasa, low plank, or knees, chin and chest down. Cobra or up dog. And come back into downward facing dog. And from here you can bring your left leg up. Try to keep your hips parallel. Don't hang into your right hip. Really pull, uh, pull through the ball of your left foot. Don't lift that leg up too high, so you need to open up that hip. Hug your inner thighs together. One more deep inhale. On your exhale, drag your knee to your nose. And rise back up. Knee to your chest. And step your foot all the way forward. And slowly start to rise up. Really feel the extension through the sides, to your pinkies. Try not to turn your elbows to the sides. Maybe you turn your pinkies a little bit towards each other. Deep inhale here. And then bring your right knee just above the floor. And slowly extend both legs out. Hug your thighs together. Right knee just above the floor. And pull back up. Last time, right knee just above the floor. And rise all the way up. Then you bring your right knee down, gently release that right foot. And then bring your weight onto your right knee, slowly bringing your weight forward. 
softer in your lower back. Open up your uh, hip flexors. Deep inhale, rise up. And slowly lower. Rising back up, drag up through your navel. And release into your hips. Last time, lengthening up. And lowering down. And from here, you can come up onto your right knee. Bring your left arm down. Lengthen through that right arm. But it doesn't matter if you go far to the side. Try to keep extending through that right side. That is where you want to feel the stretch. Don't collapse into the left side. One more in the next hill here. And gently rise up with your left arm. And then from here, bring your hands in front of your heart. Twist all the way towards your left leg. Bring your right elbow over your left thigh. And then you can press your left hand into your right. Maybe you like to look over that left shoulder up to the sky. Make sure you keep pressing your arm and your leg together. Only if you like to, you tuck your right toes under, you extend your right leg out. Make sure you still, you still breathe. One more in an exhalation here. And then see if you can bring your hands back next to your foot. Bring your right knee off the floor. Right hand stays onto the mat. And extend your left arm up. Maybe you make a few circles here. Time you bring your hand down, step your left foot next to your right, and gently make your way through your vinyasa. If you want to take two planks or even more, go ahead, just don't make it a push up. <clears throat> Still, make sure you're doing your yoga practice. Back in down dog, take a few in and exhalations. between your hands, bend your knees, and step or float to the front of your mat. Half lift on your inhalation, and bow all the way back down. Rise all the way up, and bring your hands in front of your heart center. Slowly lengthen your arms back up, and then bring your sitting bones back. Come into chair pose. Feet are together, knees are together. See if you can really shift your weight to the back. Feel that you keep hugging your inner thighs towards each other. Maybe you lift all your toes off the floor. One more deep inhale here. And on your exhalation, bend all the way forward. Half lift on your inhale. On your exhalation, you step, or then you like to hop back. Cobra or up dog. And make your way back into downward facing dog. When you're back in downward dog, slowly bring your right leg up. If you like to, you open your hip this time. Bending your knee, try to keep your shoulders aligned. Drag that right shoulder blade back a little bit more. Keep your navel pulled in. One more in and exhale. And then you bring your right knee all the way to your chest. Now you pull that navel in so you can tip the floor away with your knee and pull back up. Three more times. Slowly go down and drag up. Two more. Slowly go down and pull into your chest. Last time, dip it down and pull up. And step your foot all the way forward, turn your left heel down, and come all the way up into warrior two pose. Just deepen your pose for a moment, maybe you pulse it a little bit, feel the stretch at your inner thighs. 
you want to, you bring your left arm behind your back, catching your right thigh. From here, you circle your right arm all the way up and over. Make sure you're not going to extend the right leg. Keep your knee on top of your ankle. And slowly rise up. You can stay into your bike. Reach your right arm forward. Bring your elbow on top of your thigh. Turn your left shoulder on top of your left. Uh, your left shoulder on top of your right. And if you like to, your right hand comes down. Really press the right knee away from you with that right arm. Left shoulder up. Keep your neck long. Crown of your head reaches forward. And take one more in an exhale here. Slowly looking down. Maybe you like to make your step a little bit smaller. Right hand in front of you. If it's possible, stay into your bind. And then come onto your right foot. Lift that left foot nice and high. Make a long diagonal line from the crown of your head towards your left foot. Stack everything on top of each other. Maybe your right hand comes off the floor. Feel that you keep lengthening and extending. One more breath. And then bend your standing leg. Come all the way back. And then from here you release your arm. Circle your hands at the inside of your leg. And then just move to the long side of your mat. Floating from side to side. If you like to, you add your arms. Just feel that you can flow a little bit. Finding some smoothness into your movement. When you're ready, you come all the way to the front of your mat. Walk your right foot out. Bring your left knee down to the floor. Maybe you drop your right knee a little bit to the outside. And then lift your heart up. And slowly bow forward. Two more. Deep inhale, lift up. And bow down. Last time, lifting up. And gently lower. And then from here, you come all the way back onto your hands. Shift your weight to the back onto your left knee. This time you keep your right foot at the side. See if you can extend your right leg out. Pull your toes towards you. Then take a deep inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, bow forward. Deep inhale, lift back up. And slowly bend down. Last time, lift up. And bow forward. From here you can stay onto your right hand. Maybe you have the space to bring your right elbow down. And then from here extend your left arm up. And drag your left arm underneath your right leg. Slowly lengthening back up. And hug it around. Last time lifting up. And slowly hug in. And then you come back onto your hands. From here, bring that right foot all the way down onto the floor. Tuck your left toes under, extend your left leg out. And then you can come high onto the toes of your right foot. Maybe you lift your hips up, bring that right arm underneath, your right shoulder underneath your leg. Foot comes back down, lift your heart forward. Maybe from here, you can extend your right arm out. Maybe your left arm. If you want to, you can come into your bind. Try not to drop your head. See if you can keep your heart pulling forward. Taking one more breath wherever you are. You can bring your hands down. Swing that right leg all the way up. Open up your hip. If you want to, you can step over into wild thing pose. Just open up the whole front for a moment. And then from here, flip all the way back. One-legged dog. If you like to, you come into a one-legged high plank. One-legged low plank. Cobra or up dog from there. And make your way back into downward facing dog. And then 
take a few inhale exhalations. Take a moment to feel how you're doing. You can always move a little bit. Maybe you enjoy the stillness. And then just bring your feet together, lift your left leg up, open your left hip on top of your right. Try to keep dragging that left shoulder back. Deep breath. Extend your left leg back up. Drag your knee all the way towards your chest. And then from here, dip to, uh, your knee to the floor and pull it back up. Don't lift your hips up too high. Slowly let it back come back and pull it a little bit closer. Two more. Go down and pull up. Last time, go down and pull back. Then step your foot all the way forward, turn your right heel down, and open up in Warrior Two. When you're all the way into Warrior Two, take a moment to deepen your pose. Maybe you need to widen your step. And then gently start to bring sorry, your right arm all the way behind your back. See if you can catch your left thigh. Circle your left arm up and over. Make sure your right hip is not popping forward. Keep dragging it back. Don't let your left knee come in. One more inhale here. And then you come all the way forward. Elbow onto your thigh or onto your knee. See if you can first spin your shoulder on top of your left. Maybe your left hand comes down at the inside of your foot. Try not to collapse, don't hang. Really keep everything active. Push your right foot away. Stay here for one more in the exhalation. And then you look down. Make your step a little bit smaller. Left hand in front of your uh, left foot. And then bring your weight onto your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Now try to keep your weight a little bit forward into the balls of your uh, left foot too. Extend that right leg out. Keep your navel pulling in. Find the length. Maybe you lift your left hand off the floor. Nice. See if you can stay here for one more breath. And then with control, you step all the way back, releasing your arm, and then circle your arms at the inside of your left leg, slowly flowing from side to side a few times. down. Maybe release that left knee a little bit to the side. And then from here lift your heart. Slowly bow down. Lift back up and bending forward. One more time. Rising up and lower down. And then come all the way back up. Come onto your right knee. Extend your left leg to the front. Pull your left hip next to your right. Deep inhale here. And slowly bow down. Deep inhale, rise up. And gently lower. One more time, rise up. And bow down. And then come back onto your hands. This is enough, stay here. Maybe you can bring your left elbow down close to your left leg. And then bring your right arm up. And hug it around your leg. 
slowly rising up and hug it around. Last time, extend out and hug it in. And then you come back to the center, hands back under your shoulders. Come back onto your left foot, tuck your right toes under, extend your right leg out. And then from here, come high onto the toes of your left foot. Drag that left shoulder underneath your left knee. Foot comes down, hips come down, heart forward. Push your right heel to the back. And then maybe you extend your left arm to the side. Maybe your right too. Or you can come into a bind if you like to. Lift your heart forward. Keep pressing that right heel away. Just for one more breath. Hands come back down. Swing your left leg all the way up. Open your hip. And you stay here or you step over into wild thin pose. Just for one more inhalation. And then flip all the way back. From here you can come into a one-legged dog, a one-legged plank, one-legged chaturanga, cobra or a dog. And make your way back into the downward facing dog. And just bring your knees to the floor for a moment. Come all the way down into child's pose. Just feel for a moment how you are doing. For one more breath. And then start to make your way back into down dog. Taking a deep in and exhalation here. And then start to bring your right leg up. Right knee comes to your right upper arm or shoulder. And slowly you rise up. Right knee crosses to your left arm. And pull back up, knee to your chest, and softly step your foot all the way to the front. Now from here, turn your left heel into the floor, rise up into warrior one. You press the outside of your left foot into the earth, try to drag your right hip back a little bit next to your left. And then take a deep inhale, lift your heart. On your exhale, slowly bow forward. Deep inhale, rise back up. And exhale, lower down. Last time, lengthening up. And bow forward. Interlace your fingers. Maybe you stretch your heart forward for a moment, shoulder blades together. And bow all the way down into a humble warrior. Try to keep your right hip pulling back next to your left. Nice stretch into your shoulders. One more in and exhale here. And then you rise all the way back up. And then from here you can make your step a little bit smaller. Lengthen both legs. Bring your hands onto your hips. Come halfway forward. And then from here you can bring your left hand at the inside of your left foot. Maybe on top or at the outside. You can always use a block. And you bring your right hand onto your sacrum. Turn your right shoulder on top of your left. If you like to you extend your arm all the way out. Try to keep lengthening. Staying here for one more deep breath. Really slowly bring your right hand all the way down to the floor. From here, you come onto your right foot. Lift your left leg up behind your hip. Zip your navel in. Maybe you bring your hands in front of your heart. <clears throat> Maybe you can extend your arms all the way forward. One more deep breath. And then slowly start to rise all the way up. Bring your knee to your chest. Take 
the moment to release your lower back. And then you bring your right hand onto your hip, bring your left foot at the inside of your thigh. Coming all the way into tree pose. Try to keep the side body long, maybe your arms rise up. You can always come into any variation you like. Maybe you like to gaze up to the sky. Just for one more breath. And bring your hands back in front of your heart. Slowly letting your left foot come on top of your right thigh. And then see if you can go down as low as possible. Sitting bones to the back. Maybe you extend your arms all the way forward next to your ears. Make a nice flat table of your back. One more deep in an exhalation. And then see if you can come up with control. Pulling your knee all the way to your chest. And then take a big step back with your left foot. Slowly uh, bring your arms back up. And then from here bring your hands down to the floor. Step your right leg underneath your left. Coming into a modified side plank. If you want to, you stay here. Maybe you drag that right leg off the floor. You can even like uh, catch your foot if you like to. Maybe you even want to bring it all the way over your head to the front. And when you're ready, release your leg. Slowly bring your knee back to your chest. Right leg back up into the sky. And bring your foot down. Bring in your left leg up from here. Bring your left knee to your upper arm or shoulder and rise back up. Left leg to your right arm and come up. Knee to your chest and step all the way forward. Right heel roots down, come up in warrior one. And just find your pose, align everything. Soft shoulders, deep inhalation here, on your exhalation, bow down, circle your arms back, deep inhale, flow back up, and slowly exhale, bowing down, one more time, rising up, and bending forward, clasping your fingers, stretch your arms away, Maybe you lift your heart forward first and then you lower down. Try not to let your hips pop all the way to the left side. Keep dragging your left hip next to your right. Maybe your ear comes all the way to your ankle. One more in and exhale. And rise up. Arms up to the sky and then you just make your step a little bit smaller, square your hips even more, hands come onto your hips and then come halfway forward, place your right hand where you want to place it, maybe you use your block, bring your left hand onto your sacrum, twist from your waist, look up over that left shoulder, if you can stay into balance you can bring your left arm up, try to keep dragging your legs towards each other. Really feel the center line for your balance. Stay here for one more deep inhale. And slowly bring that left hand down. Hands at each side of your left foot. And then you shift your weight onto your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Try to keep your hips aligned here as well. Hug your navel in. Hands in front of your heart. Maybe you want to bring your arms into the same variation as you did at the other side. And then stay here for one more breath. And then with control, rise up. Hug your knee to your chest. And then you can start to bring your right foot at the inside of your left thigh. Hands come in front of your heart center. And come back up if you want. Keep your breath calm. Feel the four corners of your left foot into the earth. And 
Take one more breath here. Gently bringing your hands back. And then slide that right foot over your left leg. Flex your foot, knee to the outside, and sitting bones back. Bow forward. Maybe you bow your whole upper body over your shin of your right leg. You can extend your arms all the way forward if you want. Make yourself nice and flat. One more in an exhalation. And gently with control, come back up. Dragging your knee to your chest. And take a big step back into lunge. Extending your arms all the way back up. And slowly bring your hands down. Extending your left leg all the way back up. And bring it down to the floor. Take a deep inhalation here. Slowly look in between your hands, bend your knees, and step or float into a seated position. And then when you're all the way back into a seated position, see if you can bring your left leg towards you, right knee towards you. Maybe you hug your knee for a moment, extend your spine. And then from there you can catch your ankle, maybe your foot. Maybe you interlace all your fingers and press your foot up. Try not to hang it onto your back. Then maybe catch it a little bit lower. Lift your heart up. Feel that you keep rising out of the floor. Keep pressing both sitting bones down. See if you can stay here for one more deep in and exhale. Slowly see if you can bring that leg a little bit closer. Maybe kiss your own shin. And from here, you just bring your right leg all the way to the side. Maybe you bring your left arm up. Keep your heart lifted. Really push your foot away. Keep your chest open. Nice stretch. Then you bend the leg and you can bring your uh, right foot into your left elbow, right arm around. If that doesn't work, just hold on to your heel. Swing it a little bit from side to side. You feel the stretch into your glutes, your thigh, maybe your lower back. Just opening up your hip. Taking one more breath here. And then you can bring your hands to your heel. Maybe you can shift your weight a little bit to the back and bring your right foot all the way into your left groin. As close towards you as possible, sitting in half lotus. If it's enough, you stay here. Maybe you can bring the left foot all the way on top of your right leg. Coming into a full lotus here. Maybe this is enough, you stay here for a moment. If you like to, you bring your hands next to your thighs onto the floor. You can really round your shoulders, your back a little bit, pull your navel in, and then see if you can lift your knees off the mat. Push your hips off the floor, and then squeeze it in. Taking one more breath here, and gently lower down. And then from here, you can release your legs. Shake it all the way out. And then we go for the other side. Bring your right leg in. And then see if you can bring your left knee towards you. Maybe you elongate your spine for a moment. Really make sure your left sitting bone stays onto the floor too. You lengthen just up from the earth. Then catch your calf, ankle, foot, whatever you like. And stretch your leg all the way up. Maybe you lift your chest up a little bit more. So make sure you keep breathing. Just for one more in an exhalation. And then slowly pull your head a little bit closer to your leg, your leg to your head. 
and gently release. Now catch your foot, bring your left leg all the way to the side. You can also keep on holding on to your calf here. Lift your heart up a little bit more, root your sitting bones down. Maybe you release that right arm to the side. Just feel a nice opening. One more breath. And then bend your knee. See if you can hug your arm around. Make some little movement. Opening up your hip a little bit more. Make sure that you never hurt your knee. And maybe one more breath. And then you bring your hands back to the outside of your foot from below. Shift your weight a little bit to the back. Really drag your foot to your belly. And then you let it land down at your right thigh. Maybe you stay here. Just practice your half lotus, relaxing your hips. Or you bring your right foot over your left leg. And then you can keep sitting up here. Try to lengthen your spine, releasing the knees down, turning it open. Or you bring your hands next to you onto the floor. You pull your navel in, lift your knees off the floor. And then you can press your sitting bones away from the mat. Maybe you stay here just for one more deep breath. And then slowly come back down, gently releasing your legs from here, and then shake them all the way out. And then start to come onto your back. I always have a way too long practice for an hour. So just come onto your back. If you like to, you can always end your practice into an inversion if you want to just take a moment to practice your headstand your handstand maybe your shoulder stand and then just end up into an easy twist whatever you like see if you can find your own variation you don't need to end up your practice together with me just see if you can not rush the end of your practice, just take your time, listen to your body and do whatever feels good at this very moment. Only when you are sure you did everything you wanted to do, you start to come into Shavasana. When you come into Shavasana, make sure that you take at least two minutes can be way longer just to let your body soften and let your practice integrate into your whole body keeping your mind empty Maybe you come back to a natural breath After a few minutes, you just really slowly start to let the movement come back into your body. Maybe by wiggling your fingers, your toes. Just let everything start to move slowly and softly again. Maybe you like to give yourself a nice stretch. From there you can bring your knees towards you, roll over to one side and come all the way back up. Just take a moment with your eyes closed, feel how you're doing. Make sure you come back to the intention you made at the beginning. your hands in front of your heart. Take a deep inhale here. On your exhale, you bow your head to your heart. Thank yourself for your practice. Gently 
Come back up, opening up your eyes. Namaste.